my video for November the 6th, 2019 is video number 3,259. And the title is one word, responsibility. Responsibility, what does that mean? In English, it means ability to respond. I have spent my life praying. Does the God I pray to have the ability to respond? Perhaps not, judging by the results of asking, seeking, and knocking. Oh yes, I have had some interesting experiences that I interpreted as connecting with God, but I have mostly been disappointed whenever I've been on the creature side of the equation. Look at the word. I appears three times. One might think that means I am, but what am I? I certainly don't have awareness that I am creating anything of value. I'm merely responding to what already exists. At this point in my life, I'm willing to admit, along with Sergeant Schultz, I know nothing, nothing. Of course, I do know a little. I know what I've experienced, and it's no wonder some of my church friends have become atheists. I still haven't gone that far myself. I went from being a believer to an agnostic. I would like to be empowered to actually know God, to be able to play a role, however small, in creating real changes and draining the swamp. Politics doesn't work. Neither does religion. Can this world, as we experience it, be fixed? I continue to wrestle with the reason, or trying to find a reason, why my prayers don't get answered. Why in 2011, 2012, when I expected the kingdom of heaven to manifest on earth. Why didn't that happen? And it still hasn't happened, even though Trump wants to drain the swamp, and even though Obama promised change we can believe in. Believe just doesn't cut it, does it? Because a lot of people have believed, and some people say, well, you have to wait for the great tribulation to occur. Well, for a lot of people, the great tribulation already occurred, depending on what part of the world you're living in or have lived in. There's been a lot of tribulation from the beginning. Human history is filled with all sorts of tribulations as people that want to rule over other people or claim what other people have operate with impunity in taking, in killing, in raping, and in violating others' rights as creatures. People say, but Ron, don't you eat meat? No, I don't. I'm a vegetarian. I did last Thanksgiving, and I think the Thanksgiving before, have some turkey because I was invited to a meal, but I've not bought meat in years. Neither do I intend to. Uh, I have had some fake hot dogs and fake hamburgers made out of vegan stuff. Uh, I guess soy protein is the main ingredient. I, I'm not sure how it's done, but <laughs> I know at the yoga at the yoga mission, uh, they have had uh, hot dogs and hamburgers for some of their uh, social events, and I am still trying to find answers. I'm still trying to make sense out of a world that seems more polarized than ever before. I see people that absolutely believed Hillary was the one that won the election when she didn't even come close. And the places where she won and where the Democrats won most, those probably are rigged situations. 
I'm not saying that while the Republicans are good either. I'm just saying that everything in this world is rigged. Everything is being manipulated. And whose agenda is in charge of the manipulation? The loving God? Give me a break. I wish that were true, but it doesn't appear to be true. I want to give the benefit of the doubt to Donald Trump. I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt to uh, Obama and his partner, <laughs> Michelle Michael. <laughs> I wanted to see positive changes. And I thought for sure it was going to happen 2011, 2012. That was the window of, of time that I was convinced was the right time to see and bring about the real change. But it didn't happen. It's not happening yet. I keep getting promises. It's next week, next month, next year whatever. It's always some future. It's never now, but I am. I am is now. I am here now. Is God here now? Is the creator taking responsibility for creation by at least empowering those who want to spread love and, and uplift truth? I know I've been harping on this video after video, because it means everything to me. It means that my life has not been lived in vain, if indeed God res begins responding to not just my prayers, but the prayers of many around the world, of all the different religions, reaching out to the real creator, not the pretend one that's jealous, not the one that creates peace and makes war, that's the fake God, folks. That's the God I was sold when I was a kid. And I believe that was the way God was. Till I stepped back and looked at it with a more critical eye. I thought, wait a minute. Why would God be jealous if God has all power and all knowledge? What's there to be jealous of? Why does God feel like Everything has to be controlled. Why is creation set up so that the creatures, us, have limited capacity to comprehend what's going on, to answer the big questions of why and how and where is the love? Where is the truth? It obviously doesn't exist in the political realm. It doesn't exist in the religious realm. It doesn't exist on this planet in a form that is widespread. There may be pockets where people are able to love one another. There may be individual areas where truth is told and ideas are discussed without butting heads and trying to prove the other person wrong. Why can't we have heaven on earth? That's the big question. And who's responsible? I would like to believe that God is responsible to empower those who at least are willing to break out of the confines of the limitations that have been put upon us when our codons were turned off, whoever did that. There's no junk DNA. There is a lot of inactive DNA. When will that be turned around? When will we be able to see results and actually take responsibility for the world in which we live. Any questions? Thanks for listening and namaste.